hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will add the player car inside our game so if you go inside the folder this first one in here you can select different vehicles or you can use your own vehicle for example i will use this vehicle for my player so i will just simply drag and drop this inside the game like this okay and then let's move it down below click on prefab unpack completely and let's name this as player car then if we go in here as you can see this has this collider thing so we need to delete this collider from here and let's check if there is any other collider added so as you can see there is no more collider now what we will do is right here let's create an empty game object by the name of body and inside this body let's select all of the player car things and drag and drop them inside the body okay so now as you can see this is the body and that is the car wheels as you can see okay so these are the wheels what we will do with them is select all of them and then right here let's click on create empty parent okay create empty parent for them and then let's name this parent as wheels transform okay so inside the wheel transform this is all of the wheel transforms then let's duplicate this okay and now rename this to wheels colliders and then if you go in here what we will do is let's remove these all things from here okay which is this whole tile so inside this back wheel uh, wheel back left let's remove all of these things delete it we just need this empty game object and let's open up the other four other three which are remaining and let's delete the wheel as well from here as well and delete this one as well that is it just leave this as empty okay like this so now we have the wheel transforms and the wheel colliders now if we click on this player car right here let's add a rigid body and inside this rigid body make the mass of it as 1000 and then leave everything as it is after this add a box collider and now let's set this box collider let me select the whole vehicle move it to this position for now Okay, and let's set the box collider so let's move box collider up there then move it in this position then in the backward direction as well and after this set the width of the box collider as well So now add box collider like this okay and make sure that your box collider doesn't cover the whole wheels of the vehicle okay make sure it is similar to mine one as well okay so once you add the box collider now the next thing is to move this vehicle okay and make this vehicle workable so that it move, moves forward backward left and right and also it stops as well and we will allow the player to sit in this car okay and get out of the car as well but that is for the future so see you guys in the next one